your lips And money in your pocket Your sweetheart in your arms You're rich as you can be So lift up your glass Let's sing it all together Muchachos travelers Make this toast with me We'll drink one more time Money and wine I string to the girls we adore Clearly a very early take of Vino Dinero Why Amor. And yes it was, it was take one, sounding very different. I like it. Amigos giving it all their worth in as backing singers. Of course, they would do that in conjunction with the Jordanaires. But what a great soundtrack! And look, I'm going to jump straight into this one. Elvis Fun in Acapulco, the companion album. Now, if you look very carefully, I'll show this on screen. SF seven six zero nine hyphen two or dash two, which would be. Oh, hang on a minute. I think getting t-shirts with that on it. Who makes my heart beat like thunder? Who makes my temperature rise? Who makes me tremble with wonderful rapture? With one burning glass from her eyes. Margarita! a bit of margarita haven't you i ain't talking about the pizza Once I was free, I sf 7609 this is the original stereo pressing released in december of 1963 the uk version in living stereo i shall put up some pictures of that because it's a rather delightful copy yes her name is her name Margarita. This is also take one. But look, we want to talk about this one today. What a stunning cover. If you compare it with the original, we can see, I hope you can see this inside the shot with a wonderful looking fella like me in the middle. Uh, obviously in still the red shirt, trying to maintain or trying to keep the same colours for this one, uh, oh, it's just absolutely remarkable. If you look very closely at Elvis's skin, you can even see the pores. The photography on this is just sensational. And we've even kept, or they've even kept, the same writing as what's found on the original. The same with the back as well, with exactly the same, I think you, well, you would be able to see if I did damn record out. Bear with me a second, folks. You can see I've prepared for this one today. You can see exactly the same. Obviously, apart from the pictures around the outside, which are very different. And none of these pictures are repeated on the original. Oh. Look at that. Salivate while I quickly flip over sides. This is the master. Apparently this was done in take one. Only our boy could pull this off. Oh, I love this one. Come on, it's summer. I wish I was down in Mexico. Such 
Now you've all heard that before. But I've got to tell you, this album sounds absolutely fabulous. I've taken the cover off now, so you probably can get a better look at that. Designed once again by uh, our friend Jimmy Carpenter. And I have to say, the releases of late from Follow That Dream, the imagery on the front is just sensational, be it from it happened at the World's Fair, Girls, Girls, Girls. Uh, further up there, I've got Kissing Cousins, Roused About. Look, you've got to take your hat off to these guys. These guys are knocking it out of the ballpark for us. And we should be ever so grateful because the amount of material that is coming out at the moment, it's never been a better time to be an Elvis fan. And this one just ticks every box for me. And I will categorically state on record that this is my favorite cover. Elvis, Fun in Acapulco. Special limited to LP edition. Hang on. Of course, plays over the opening credits of the film. Um, one of my favourite films. I love this film. In fact, I look. I look like a lot of the mid '60s Elvis films, early '60s, late '50s, late '60s. You know where I'm going with this. I'm not one of these people that hates the movies. Yes, while I appreciate they weren't great for his career, latterly, in the first initial period, I think they were great. And of course, we got to see him. We never would have seen him otherwise. Unless, of course, he was touring, but we wouldn't have seen him in the UK. What's next? Oh, Bossa Nova. Very much slowed down. <laughs> I'm going to start this one again. So special limited 2LP edition featuring Bossa Nova Baby, Mexico, El Toro, You Can't Say No in Acapulco. I don't think you can actually. Margarita and Studio Outtakes, 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. And it is heavy. It measures bang on 180 grams. How do I know that? I've got a set of scales. And what I particularly love about this edition is the imagery inside of all of the movie paraphernalia and promotional items is just sensational. Look at that one. I will put that on screen for you. Oh, wow, I'd love to have that. In fact, my room is turning into a bit of a movie room, uh, particularly on the wall behind you guys that you never see. You will one day when it's um, when it's exactly how I want it. But honestly, this vinyl edition produced and art directed by Roger Seaman. I think Vic Anasini does the um, overall um, restoration of this. Oh. Art restoration and audio restoration and mastering. I should have worn my glasses. By Sebastian Jeanson, mixed by Vic Anasini and Sebastian Jeanson. And my God, honestly, I, I'm not kidding you. It sounds fantastic. But of course, another reason why I'm particularly fond of this album, very much the same they did with Girls, Girls, Girls. They did it using the Silver Spot that of course was very familiar to UK buyers during the 1960s. And in, in effect, this is done as a, a nod to the UK uh, Elvis fans, I guess. And I'm, I'm tremendously grateful for that because the label, as you will see on screen now, is just, well, it harks back to when I, when I first started collecting about five years ago, I was after all the silver spots, the red spots, the small orange labels, the big orange, look, everything. And you can probably tell from behind me, which you don't get to see a lot of. Uh, there's not much that I don't really have at, at this moment in time. But we hear Elvis playing out with this one as we go into. Come on, what do you think's next? Oh, I think I'm gonna like it here. I do, every week. Oh, I 
things and quality. No one seems to worry while they're all so happy apparently. Every day is fiesta, every night fiesta. I think I did a full movie review of this about a year ago where I did talk about the vinyl also at that moment in time. But just for a recap, for those of you that may not have seen it, I don't know where you've been, but you need to check it out because it's a great video. So this was recorded January the 22nd and 23rd at Radio Recorders in 1963. Exactly four months after it happened at the World's Fair and four months before, see if you can guess. I'll come back and tell the answer. He wasn't in bad voice, was he? As you know, my favourite period of Elvis is the early 60s. I'm not going to go into that again because you'll probably get sick of me talking about it. But when you listen to a vocal ability and vocal tonal quality as this, as <laughs> the Amigos come in. Okay, and four months before the RCA Studio B sessions, where he would fundamentally record all of the songs that would find its way onto this album in 1990. Of course, they came out as singles, we know that. There was one exception that was recorded in the January of 1964. Can you guess what it is? It hurts me. And, um, well... It hurts me as a classic track. And I think I might, um, we might start doing videos on just songs um, and give you all the background information and so on. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm had a little thought about that, but look, let me tell you now, we've got so much lined up, I'm struggling to get it out. What's next? Oh, well, I'm gonna have a movie. Oh, take one. Now, you shouldn't be able to write a song from the title of this, but you can if you're clever. This was gonna be the night tonight. I was gonna get to hold you tight. But I guess we didn't plan right. I never stood a chance. We couldn't dare. Let's that. This is a guilty pleasure of mine, this song. <laughs> it's not, of course, the, the waxing lyrical of the song itself. It's, a, I mean, the words are, obviously they fit the film. However, I love his vocal performance. I hit my head against the steering wheel. Only Elvis could sing a line like that. Of course, I give a poor imitation. It doesn't matter, does it? It's a Monday afternoon. I've got no work for this afternoon. Shh, don't tell him downstairs. There's one really great um, take on here, which is um, the bullfighter was a lady. It's the movie version. Of course, it's, it's an outtake version, but it's really, really entertaining. And I put it on and I, my ears pricked up. I thought, God, I must listen to that again. So if it's still playing at the end, we'll have a look. But anyway, there you go. Um, like I say, I'm not gonna go into this in depth because I did a video on Fun in Acapulco probably about a year ago. Look it up, you need to, it's good. Um, but look at that. Why couldn't we have had this in the 60s? Not that I was alive, but you've got to say the art has moved on considerably. Yes, I love collecting all of the originals and it's not, like I say, there's not much I don't have, but these, I get particularly excited when a new Follow That Dream comes out 
and as soon as this one was announced, Bosch was straight in for me two copies. And I ordered two copies, one, because it's the visual art behind me. I love to look at the pictures all the time. And you know, you never know, when I'm long gone, it'll be a rainy day, rainy day payday for my son. I have no intentions of ever selling them. Anyway, where are we? We are currently, um, we are doing our, our August anniversary video, which I'm nearly halfway through. Um, but just to give you an idea of how long it takes in preparation and the production of a video, it, it, it can take a long time. And that's why you may not see a release every week. We do try, but it's very, very difficult because we've always maintained quality has got to be everything. It can't just be thrown together because it's something that is we are going to leave behind. And like I say, it's for Elvis's legacy and that's more important than anything. Um, we're also doing a video. Um, I'm hoping to have it out this week. I'm halfway through that. Um, it's probably a bit controversial by us. We tend to steer clear of controversy. However, this needs to be out there. Um, there's some stuff that's been said recently, in, in fact, aired on a documentary, we're not happy with. We've done our own reply to it. And as Elvis fans, we urge you all, please, to watch it and start protecting this man's name. Because even now, some, what are we, 46 years later, people are still trying to tarnish the name of our boy. And it ain't on. This is good. I'll let us play for a little bit. Still right. Dio. Dio, take my I'll let it play for a minute. And of course, we've done two parts of our Elvis um, special from 1973. To be honest, it didn't get the figures that we were hoping for because it's a very important year in the life of Elvis Aaron Presley and it, it really deserves some focus and that's what we've tried to give it. Um, part three I uh, will record as soon as I've finished the video that's coming out this week on top of the anniversary ones, on top of another one that's Craig's written for me. I need to start singing in Spanish, don't I? He said it, not me. Pedro the Bull was a killer, king of the bullfighter ring. He'd wipe up the floor with each brave matador Then have matador stew for his dinner He curled, curled, <laughs> and curled He curled the house shouting all it When you've got an instrument like he had God, he didn't ask how to If only, eh? He curled the shout howdy Very entertaining now, but you got to get it get it out as soon as I can so by the time you're watching this I'll have worked my socks off Pedro the Bull was a killer King of the Bullfighter Ring He'd wipe up the floor with each brave matador and have Stood for his dinner. He heard the crowd shouting, Ole! Ole! He met his master that day. 
there's a running theme through this album about Olays and Elvis makes a couple of quips um, as you heard uh, a minute or two ago but um, look he's in good spirits in these sessions you can hear it and it's evident in his vocal and this for me is one of the strongest movie albums anything from the early 60s I, I don't know if there's a poor um, movies soundtrack I really don't from this period of course girls 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 it happened at the world's fair fun in Acapulco um, fever Las Vegas kissing cousins I think that's in the right order but they've all got a charm and whenever I see a film FTD one comes out I'm all over it like a rash that's what I get pleasure from. Anyway, we'll let Elvis finish this one out. And I will say good day to you. And I'll see you. Or you'll see one of our other videos. Maybe two this week. <laughs>